Hi traders, this is Cynthia of Day Trade Forex bringing you a short video to, to introduce you to the new Chart Trader version 2 Trade Manager EA. And the reason why I'm doing this is I think that for most traders, trading on the MT4 platform all by itself is pretty clumsy if you're using a customized trading system like my trading systems and other systems you might have. So this is tutorial just to show you how to use the chart trader trade manager on my trading systems and also on an, another system that has been very popular lately that I introduced you to. So first I'm going to show you a quick trick of how to get the chart trader into your favorite so that it's really easy to find. You can see right here that because the chart trader and these other tra trade managers, they're actually EAs. They don't place the trade for you. They're not robots, but they are EAs, expert advisors. So this is where you're going to find them when you download them. What we want to do is get them into favorites right here. So what I do is the, the trade managers that I like to trade, I click I right mouse click and click add to favorites. So you can just do this to get all of the important things that you like to use really quickly, add them to your favorites just like this. I'm right mouse clicking, clicking add to favorites and I use the easy order on my own trading system. So now we have everything in favorites it's really easy so now I can show you how to use the new chart chart trader it you um, pull it over to your chart make sure it says allow trading click inputs of course up here the little guy has to have a hat and it has to be green for auto trading to be enabled now the chart trader is empty of presets so you have to create your own presets. So I'm going to show you how to create a preset for the new Chart Trader Trade Manager. So first of all, you'd want to adjust the input values here. So depending on your account size, you should really set this so that it's only using 1% or 2% at the most of your trade account. You have to be able to figure that out. For instance, this $1,300 account, I can trade 0.05. I like to always use a 1 to 2 or a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio. That means if I'm using a 1 to 3, I can lose, for instance, half of my trades and still come out ahead money-wise. So 1 to 2 helps with that. 1 to 1 doesn't help at all. Uh, if you lose half your trades, you lose half your account. So it's really important, I think, that, that you learn how to trade with a 1 to 2 or a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio. The next thing that's important is if you're trading in a very low volatile trading session such as the Tokyo session that starts at 5 p.m. Eastern you can't be very aggressive and you can't be too optimistic about what your take profit potential might be so for instance right now it's the end of the day on Friday and the volatility and momentum is very very low it's almost the end of the trading day so even if I wanted to trade I would not be very optimistic so depending on your trading session you would want to create three types minimum of preset files and we'll we'll create a scalping preset file here as our first preset file so take profit could be as a scalp trade I would say 20 pips is something that you would want to try to aim for and of course it depends on your profit potential for the trading session that you're in and what the market conditions are so if it's a very volatile strong trend market you could make your take profit higher but for a scalping take profit 20 pips is okay you can have a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio would be making your stop loss 10 pips and if you want to use a risk percent for your stop loss, you would make your stop loss zero 
and you could set this to one. That'll give you a much bigger, much wider stop loss, but you can't be using these at the same time. It's one or the other. So your trailing stop needs to be tight enough, but not too tight. So it takes some experimentation for a scalping trade, I think a five pip or a seven pip trail, depending on how strong the market is. If it's a very weak market and it might turn on you really quickly, a five pip trailing stop is okay. So then you would click save and you would have to name it. And down here is where you name it. So I would call it CT for chart trader scalp. This is a risk percentage, so it's not a set stop loss. Now, if I want a set stop loss, I would make the risk at zero and then set this at 10 and then save that. You can click that and just change it to a fixed, just say fixed. Okay, so that's your scalp. Okay, now if we want to make a day trade, we need a preset file for the day trading. So you could make that 50 pips, make your stop loss 20 pips, and your trailing stop could be changed to say 10. Now I'm not saying that these are perfect, it's just I'm trying to show you how to make your own presets. So click save and we're using the fixed. Now this is a day trade. If you want to make a percent for your stop loss, you would just make a new one and save it with a new name. Now say we want to make a swing trade. We're trading during the London session where it's really active. I'm just doing this as an example of a swing trade set file, but you can create your own values. So this is a swing. Just change the name. Now you're ready to trade. So depending on your trading system, you have to decide if you're going to sell or buy. And I'm in my trend and flat basic system and the box right now, the colored box right now is red. We do have a down arrow. So if I want to sell, what I do with this, the, um, I have to make sure that I've chosen the scalping. So you click on load and you click, you ch double click it so you choose your scalp set file. Now we're ready to trade. I'm going to click sell. Well, the market's closed so I can't click sell. I'm too late doing this. So if I wanted to sell, I would click sell. If I wanted to buy, I would click buy. If I wanted to close either the buy or the sell very quickly, just click close sell or close buy. Now this has a very interesting feature where you can if quickly reverse your, your buyer or your sell trades. If you think you've made a mistake in your trend direction, just click reverse and it will close out whatever direction you already have. So if you've placed a sell trade, but you've decided that you made a mistake and you wanted, you should have bought, then just click reverse. It'll close your trades and open a trade in the opposite direction. So you can use this also. Here's, here's the color ribbon surfing system. So you would just drag it to your chart. Again, too bad the market's closed. I was too late getting this video started. Click load, choose your, we're going to choose scalp because of the time of the day. Wish we could place a trade. Now this trading system is very interesting because it uses a moving average and the, the candles in the main window are color coordinated, of course, like all my trading systems are, but down, the important window is the volatility window in the bottom, which is a combination of RSI and Bollinger Band. So in this case, the price is tending to be a little bit bullish, but we're in a one hour chart. So if we switch down to a 30 minute chart, you can see that 
everything is a little bit on the bullish side for the pound yen. Here's the period separator. You can see we're at 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday. So in the 15 minute chart, it's very, it's a little bit on the bullish side. So I would be clicking buy and then it'll place your trade with your take profit and stop loss automatically. It's placed for you. And here's my basic breakout simple system. So you would just drag it onto your chart and click load choose your scalp or any other maybe your day trade or swing trade depending on the trading session this is a little bit on the bullish side too so I would have uh, jumped down to a 15 minute just to make sure it's a little bit mixed there but it's pretty bullish in a five minute chart so I would click buy it would place my trade and the with the take profit and the stop loss and the trail already set and ready to go. I just want to mention one thing about my trading systems, the three favorites that I just showed you, my trend in flat, my color ribbon surfing system, and my breakout simple system. These are what I consider evergreen trading systems, which means that they will always work. No matter how many years go by, they will always work. The reason being is that they're created with color coordinated indicators that show you the trend. So the trend, it's very easy to see the trend. And also the volatility windows that I create in the bottom, they're, they're different for every trading system. This is the very basic breakout trend trading simple system and even though it's one of my older trading systems it still remains the most popular and the least expensive trading system to purchase and most people have very 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 good success with this trading system and like all of my color coded trading systems they will always work in any market condition for years to come because they're based on trend and momentum or volatility. Each one has its own special volatility window with its own special uh, volatility indicators. And this is the trend in flat, which just is wonderful. This is my latest trading system, which I really like very, very much. And if you buy the basic system, you don't get any trade management. You have to buy the advanced system to get the trade management, which includes my Cynthia's Trailing EA 2018 and the Easy Order, which is a combination of trade placement and trade management. And this tra chart trader, trade manager, sort of takes the place of it However, they each have different merits that the other one doesn't have. For instance, this has the quick reverse button, which I think is really wonderful. That's something I don't have. But with my Cynthia's Trailing EA 2018, it has a feature where it will move your initial stop to break even at X number of pips and at the same time it will book half of your lot size. So with half of your lot size booked and your initial stop at break even you now have a risk free trade and you've already booked some profit. So you're way ahead of the game and going forward you have a completely risk free trade. So that makes it easier to relax a little bit and go look at some other currency pairs for more trade setups. The chart trader doesn't have the feature of booking half of your gain, half of your lot size, but you do have the reverse button. So too bad that we can't have both of them working on the chart at the same time, but you can only have one EA on a chart at a time. So that's just the way it is. So now I want to show you the chart trader with a new indicator that I've been promoting lately that is really really simple it's called the logical day trading and a lot of people have been asking me for a video 
for the logical day trading indicator and it's sort of a offshoot of my own uh, trend in flat which you can see has the colored boxes these boxes are either for four hours or showing the daily trend whereas these colored boxes don't show you the four hour daily trend but it shows you it's a it's a reversal of the trend and it's a breakout box so whenever the price breaks at a certain point you can see the bottom of this box is the same as the top of this box so there's a support and resistance so whenever that support and resistance is broken you're going to get a the colored box will appear and you're going to get an arrow either the red arrow for taking a sell trade or you're going to get a blue box with the blue arrow for taking a buy trade the only thing is that these arrows do not appear until price is actually broken through supporter resistance of the previous box so it's a little bit on the slow side but not not lagging enough to really make too much difference if you have a strong trend like this was a beautiful downtrend it was a perfect downtrend in a five minute chart so if you want to scalp this is a beautiful uh, chart right here it doesn't always happen so perfect for instance it plotted it drew the, the zigzag line here from where it gave you the entry and how many pips you made at the top where you would have wanted to exit when the box turned pink when the box became pink and it says 40 but that's actually only four pips from from here to here is only four pips so that wasn't a very big move but then the next downtrend really was your big move and if you look at, say at a one hour chart here's your one hour chart where this was a really nice downtrend you had a little bit of a pullback and then here's another entry and let's see from this buy signal all the way up to the top where it would have told you to get out that's 108 pips and this one from this sell signal down to the bottom of this candle was 101 pips so in a one hour chart 100 pips is pretty easy to do let's see this this thinks we would still be in it right now if you had gotten out right there that's 63 pips that's 65 pips so anywhere between 50 and 100 pips in a one hour chart is great so right now we're still in this trade and but here we are in a 15 minute chart it has us in a down trade there's the 15 minute chart and we had a nice sell entry and this is probably the five minute chart sell entry right here this is a bare bones trading system it specializes in the colored boxes with the trend direction and the entry arrow so it doesn't have any trade management it doesn't have any other indicators if you're nervous about using it because you're used to some indicators you can always add your own favorite indicators to it if you want to now let's drag the chart trader over to the chart and depending on if we're scalping day trading or swing trading we would choose our uh, set file let's choose a day trading set file so when we saw this arrow appear of course that's scalp this is really in a five minute we really should be scalping in a five minute chart let's load it to a scalp trade okay so now we have the chart trader loaded and ready with our scalping preset file and when whenever this arrow appears the box is going to reflect the color and the trend so whenever you see the arrow appear you need a really quick entry especially if you're scalping so you would have clicked sell and then it would have placed your trade it would have had your trailing stop and your take profit and your stop loss and price keeps going in your direction of course if you think you can get more than 10 or 20 pips for take profit you can adjust your trade right on directly on your chart with the MetaTrader feature 
So now just say possibly you want to add a couple of other indicators. Well, I have so many indicators and if you've bought any of my stuff, for instance, you could add the super trend. Look at the super trend. The super trend gives it a little more visual confirmation. The super trend is one bar earlier, so you would have been alerted one bar before this candle turned red. You would have been alerted that the trend was going down and you would have been ready and waiting for this arrow to appear so you can have a nice entry. So the super trend is a great little indicator to add if you have it, if you've already bought it with one of my other trading systems. And I'm just looking, I have so many. In one of my trading systems, I have these X's. So here, it aligns with the super trend. You have a red X right here. So that would have been an early alert that the trend was going to reverse. So you would have been ready for it. And even though you get some green candles, the red X's would have kept you in the trade short. And and here, this is your trend slope down here. So the trend is pretty much probably ready to poop out in a five minute chart. But of course, this this would be something to look at Sunday night when the market reopens. Then I have all of these other, I like the double line. That's from another trading system of mine. So you can add the double line and that gives you a little bit of confirmation. But you can see just by adding a few other indicators that you might have from purchasing some of my own trading systems, you can kind of customize this and make it a hybrid system and it visually helps you have more confirmation and more confidence when this when the red or the blue arrow appears and from the breakout simple system from the advanced system this is a great little tri triangle gives you an alert gives you targets now in the five minute chart it's this is totally based on support and resistance and triangle formation so it's broken a triangle support and this is the target the strong dark red line down here so that's your sell target so it has a long way to go so you would if the if the trade keeps going you're going to have to adjust your take profit so you don't get out of the trade too early so that's how you can use the tra trader with really any trading system that you might have and that you really like you can use it with any of my trading systems that are basic systems because my trading systems, the advanced and the extra advanced, come with my Easy Order and my Cynthia's Trailing EA for your trade placement and trade management. The basic systems don't have anything like that and you need something like that. So you can, if you think that you want to make your trading a little easier and a little more semi-automatic, you, you need a trade manager of some kind. The chart trader is new on the market. It's only $49. I think that it's a great little trade manager and you can add it to any basic trading system that you have and you can add it to any of my basic trading systems if you want to upgrade instead to my advanced or extra advanced trading systems that'll cost you a little bit more money but of course you get a lot more indicators and a lot more functionality i think that if you're already an intermediate trader you're going to like the other features in my advanced and extra advanced systems however if you're still just a newbie and you're learning your way around the MT4 platform and you're having a lot of trouble with this placing trades with this new order and trying to set your stop and take profit at the same time, the chart trader for $49 is your best bet because it's the least expensive trade manager that has a lot of function. And if you're scalping like most newbies do, you're going to love the reverse button. So I would recommend the chart trader as a, for an, any newbie trader. Otherwise, if you're past the newbie stage and you have any of my basic systems, you can always upgrade to the advanced or extra advanced and get my trade placement and EA and all the other indicators that come with. So if you have any questions about any of this, if I haven't answered any questions about how to use 
the logic day trading just send me an email and with your special questions and like I said if you have any of my trading systems and you want to just add a few indicators to this plain basic logical day trading template because it's just bare bones and and for most of you you're probably going to need a little more confirmation this is a nice little trade setup here real simple and clean so I hope that helps you understand the importance of using some kind of trade manager and for newbies this is the best one and for more intermediate or advanced traders I think that you'd like the trade manager features that I have in my advanced and extra advanced systems so if you have any questions again just shoot me an email and thanks so much for taking the time to watch and happy trading and have a great trading week ahead of you